Hey guys and girls, Nathan here. Just wanted to catch up on a recent uh, email that's been circulating out to a lot of people. A lot of people uh, ask me about this email uh, or memorandum that's come from uh, REIQ uh, regarding changes to tenancy. So um, I will read it out to you. Um, a, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Those of you that have been you know, scared about it, I'll just go through it and uh, answer any questions. So. Uh, with this, it's dated the 14th of April 2020. It says an open letter to landlords from the Real Estate Institute of Queensland. Will the Plasla, zuck, 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 whatever her name is, uh, government uh, special uh, corona scam uh, protections for residential tenants protect you? As an owner of an investment property in Queensland, if you're not already aware of the government's proposed special corona scam protections for residential tenants and landlords, the Real Estate Institute of Queensland wants to ensure you understand them. As the peak body for real estate in Queensland, we support uh, the need for tenant protection during the corona scam. However, we are fundamentally opposed to some of the proposed measures. You should be too. As a landlord, you will ultimately foot the bill uh, if the following proposals are introduced. Your tenants will not have to pay any rent back. Put simply, a rent reduction negotiated with your tenants is a permanent rent waiver, meaning you as a landlord will be out of pocket uh, with no means of recovering any unpaid rent. Uh, in the future, post the Corona scam, um, that's the first problem that you know that REIQ is scared of. Um, put it here: uh, you cannot ask your tenants for any proof of financial hardship. Your tenants can request reduced rent due to the Corona scam uh, without any proof. This potentially exposes you to false claims and exploitation uh, of the proposed protections for those of you who genuinely need it. Uh, your landlord insurance will not cover you uh, for rent arrears. Um, the normal terms of your policy will not, co will not cover uh, rent reduction as this is mutual agreement between you as the landlord and the tenant cannot follow through any necessary rent defaults process um, as this is prohibited. Uh, that Your tenancy agreement will immediately uh, be extended by six months if it expires during the six month freeze on evictions. Tenants will be automatically entitled to a six month extension of a tenancy agreement. Uh, meaning any protections may last up to 12 months. Your tenants can refuse entry for anything other than emergency repairs. Uh, not only can your tenants refuse access, uh, they don't have the, they don't have, uh, they don't have participate, they don't have to, it says here you have, right? This is come out, right? And it's not me being dyslexic and not being able to read it, but it says here, um, they don't have to participate in virtual property inspections either. either. Uh, there's no, also no clarity as to whether the prospective purchasers can inspect a property that is for sale. Your tenants can break a lease with only seven days notice. To make matters worse, you cannot recover any rent loss or cost associated with finding a new tenant as would normally apply. And now you understand how the uh, Plazlazic, whatever her name is, uh, government's proposed special corona scam um, protections favour your tenants at all expense to landlords. REIQ needs your urgent help before Parliament sits to pass these protections on Wednesday, the 22nd of uh, April. Uh, for our voices to be heard, complete the details and landlord template to the Premier. That is an official email uh, out from the REIQ, uh, which has come out. Uh, a lot of people emailed me in about this. Um, you know, am I scared about it? No, there is actually <laughs> the reply from... Uh, from the um, from the uh, the government, so uh, I'm going to read out uh, all those points again, uh, just so you guys can be very clear on that. Um, yeah, so with it, uh, the press release today or yesterday has seen a number of challenges uh, to the proposed reforms. The six-month memorandum or whatever it's called for evictions uh, for Corona scam affected tenants can show who can show that they've lost at least 25% of an income. Uh, or that they are now paying more than 30% of their income on rent and can't afford other necessities, for example, food, medicine, example. example. Uh, this is where the six month automatic lease renewal would apply and go to 30th of September or earlier if agreed. Um, so with that, um, it's only if the tenants can prove that, um, that they are at a loss um, and can't afford it and you know, that they can stay there for a longer term. Uh, lease break with one week's notice is only able to be taken up again by those who can show that they have been affected via it. So you have to prove once again, it came out this official letter from the REIQ said, 
that you cannot ask the tenant for proof of financial hardship, well, now it is fact that you can ask for this. So, um, you know, a lot of people got up in arms. I don't know what the hell the REIQ was thinking uh, by putting this out. Um, totally weird. Um, yeah, I wasn't scared by it at all. Uh, this came out on Wednesday, I think it was last week. Um, I waited for the dust to settle and within 48 hours, uh, the government had come out to address this. Uh, three, virtual inspections will be permitted if a tenant refuses for a good reason, a physical inspection. So if the tenant refuses that you can have a physical inspection, they have to do a virtual inspection um, for you. So the tenants are not getting away with everything, guys. Uh, smoke alarms are considered an essential service and tenants won't be able to refuse inspection for them. Read between the lines, guys. Uh, rent reductions will be able to be negotiated between owners and tenants with a payback also negotiated. Um, so, you know, uh, this is just normal common sense of trade or business. So there's no special protections that I'm seeing here. Uh, there was no mention the ban of agents asking for evidence. However, um, refer to the residential tenancy agreement uh, for conciliators. Um, basically, we've got to monitor uh, closely what's, what's happening out there. So um, looking at, you know, that email that's come out from the REIQ, is it something which you should be scared about. Uh, I'm not concerned. Um, I manage thousands of properties in uh, in Queensland. Um, my office does, should I say, not myself personally, but my office and my team do. Um, I own uh, you know, dozens, uh, probably about 80 properties myself in Queensland. Um, and obviously I own hundreds of properties myself uh, throughout other states. Um, this is an interesting time, guys. Uh, as I said beforehand, if you had structured yourself correctly, you have the right managers looking after your property, uh, collecting the rent every week, um, have insurances in place, you know, you will get through this period relatively unscathed. Um, if you haven't got policies and processes in place, then you could be very uh, much out of pocket. So um, yeah, this is a very interesting time, guys. Um, make no doubt about it, but you know, from my perspective, from what I'm seeing out there, um, I have complete vision, like visual over uh, all my property management teams uh, across the country. Um, I pay the uh, the expenses, so whenever my owners get rent, uh, that is me dispersing uh, the funds to the owners. Um, and I have not seen any drops um, that are of significant uh, mention uh, yet. There will be some uh, tenants that are disadvantaged and it's up for us to work with them. Um, however, you know, notably, a lot of people used to uh, bag on and say, you know, Nathan buys crap properties, Western Sydney, these sort of areas. Uh, I've always talked about having a recession-proof property portfolio. So a lot of my properties, you know, the tenants may be on Centrelink already. So if they're on Centrelink to start off with, they're getting extra money from the Centrelink, so they can pay. So, you know, it depends on the type of properties. If you're talking about a property that rents for a thousand or two thousand dollars a week, you could see some problems there. If you're talking about a property that rents for two, three, four hundred dollars per week, um, that rent should keep flowing through and the cash should be uh, flowing through without any major hiccups. So if you do need help um, with your properties, if you do need help managing through this time, if your property manager is being a dick, uh, if your property manager is pro uh, sort of um, tenant, uh, feel free to reach out, uh, hit me up, nathan at blinkproperty.com.au um, and I can put you in contact with my team who will be able to help you uh, get the most out of your properties during this time. So um, yeah, with it, am I concerned? Uh, I think it's a lot of, you know, these letters that are coming out here, uh, this letter reminds me very much, uh, if I was to put it into the perspective, it reminds me very much of when Bill Shorten came out 12 months ago um, saying that he's going to scrap negative gearing uh, and uh, you know pounce upon um, you know uh, investors and, and wreck their lives and all this sort of stuff. The media hyped it up um, and things got out of control. It was never going to get passed. Um, once again, we've got another institute um, and another Labor government here, um, you know, putting out some propaganda. So, is it something to be concerned about? Yeah, there's always risks in everything, but it's not something that I'm concerned about in this day. So just thought I'd clarify that for everyone, because I have had maybe about a dozen people writing in about it. Um, go check the media releases, uh, go check the news out there. I remember seeing on video, a Facebook video, I'll try and put the link in here, 
um, of the actual press conference coming from um, that parliamentary member. So catch up soon, guys. Have a good one. Bye for now.